My name is Amy Mann and I work at the Centerville Regional Library. This video is for Art at the Library and the subject is learning how to see. Now you may say to yourself, why do I have to learn how to see? I already know how to see. Well the fact is that people who know how to draw are actually seeing in a different way. I think that talent really means the ability to shift into this type of seeing and it comes more naturally to some people than to others. So um, today I'm going to talk to you about two books, two very important books. This one I studied when I was in high school. It's called The Natural Way to Draw by Kaiman Nicolaides or Nicolaides. He taught at the Art Students League of New York and he, um, this book is a training manual in learning how to see like an artist. Uh, the Fairfax County Public Library owns a newer version of this book. This is a very old one from when I was in high school. The other book I wanted to show you is called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain by Betty Edwards. The Fairfax County Public Library also owns this book, a newer version. And she uh, borrows heavily from Nicolaides' Natural Way to Draw and adds to it. So both of these books will really help you if you do the exercises that they contain. Now I'm going to demonstrate the first exercise in the natural way to draw, blind contour drawing. Now blind contour does not mean that you're drawing with your eyes closed. It just means you don't look at your paper while you're drawing. You keep your eyes fixed on the subject, but you don't look at the paper. So I'm going to demonstrate it by doing my self-portrait in the mirror. Before you start drawing, Place your pencil on the paper and take a moment to focus your eyes on a point anywhere on the contour or edge of your subject. Wait until you're convinced that your pencil is touching your subject at the same spot your eyes are looking at. Once you feel that connection, begin to slowly move your eye along the line that you're looking at. At the same time, move your pencil and feel that your pencil is the same as your gaze. It can be helpful to imagine that you're an ant walking along the line. Resist the temptation to let your pencil get ahead of your eye and do not look at the paper while you're drawing. When your line reaches a dead end, stop drawing, look at the paper, and reposition your pencil at a new point. Wait again until you feel like your pencil is touching the subject. Then move your eye and pencil together. Continue in this way until you've drawn all the edges you can see. So, whatever your subject matter is, try it with blind contour drawing. Remember, the object is not to come out with a drawing that looks realistic. It's a record of looking. You are training your brain to see like an artist. It's the process, not the product. So give it a try. Thank you for watching and happy drawing.